new summer flavor just dropped. Ooh. Summer freeze. It's supposed to be like those red, white, and blue popsicles that we all had as children and as adults too. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. It tastes like a melted version of that. Do review with Kenny. Do review out. What up, perverts? <laughs> Kenny back with another epic mall review time. Summer days have started. It's my first day off and and of course it's raining out so it's you know it's summer days but with rain. Here we are in the middle of the mall. They have palm trees. I feel like all malls have palm trees for some reason. What, like what, what's the trend there? Customer service. The sign needs some some service here. Know your future and adjust the path of your life. I'm comfortable with where I am. So I got real excited when I found this store, Dollar Buys. I was like, oh, it's like a dollar store, dollar buys, right? That that makes sense. As I'm walking through here, I'm beginning to realize they, they have a lot of stuff. It's just everywhere. I'm in the toy section now and a fake floral section as well. And of course, in the toy section, you come upon, you know, Minnie and Mickey Mouse. I'm like, okay, dollar buys, right? That's got to be a dollar. That's a, that's a good deal. Oh, no, it's $30. How, how much? This one's twenty-four dollars. Love the the background music here. I didn't know there was that much of a need for the fake flower things. I guess these are for backdrops and other uh, occasions. The biggest loofah I've ever seen. Uh, disrespecting our American flag. I'm not a big fan of this. This is not following uh, the flag laws. As you can see, they have everything at this store. Everything and anything. Uh, like every aisle was a new treasure of some kind office supplies uh, and I'm looking around there's got to be something in here for a dollar not even the candles they're three dollars they have furniture of course why wouldn't they have furniture of all kinds just all kinds no rhyme or reason to any of this stuff and uh, now I'm in the uh, fake home decor aisle that also is next to the school supplies so we have uh, lots of clothing in this aisle as well as coolers okay uh, and giant looks like champagne glasses and chandeliers Tupperware you gotta have Tupperware in a store like this Come on down to Dollar Buys. You'll never need to go anywhere else ever. Well, you're welcome, Dollar Buys. I just gave you an amazing commercial. Please send me a check in the mail. Now, what is the the rule if you buy these giant uh, weapons in a mall? Are you allowed to just like walk through the mall with them, or they go in a box of some kind? This, this stabbing sword right here is, does not hide the fact of what it will do. Giant skull on it. Now in the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it was a pretty, it was a pretty dark and grisly comic. So uh, the turtles were known for just killing everything. They, they look like a happy bunch right here, but don't be, don't be uh, caught off guard there. They're Teenage Mutant Ninja Murder Monsters. 
Look at the cockpit of this, the inner workings of this little turtle bug. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Wagon. The Turtle Mobile, that's what it was. Real proud of the relationship between these two creatures right here. They're sharing a special moment on the back of this vehicle. And of course, you just can't escape the Burlington. Definitely can't escape this guy. He's just everywhere. Not sure why I did the crosses all there, but I'm going to keep it in the video. And uh, I was really into like fake plants for some reason when I was filming. I don't know why. I can't remember what the joke is here, but look at these chairs. That's New York City. A picture of New York City. All right, so I'm really offended by this mug. First off, R2-D2 doesn't need to drink coffee. He's a, he's a droid. And just the, the overall use of that, that cut, that just seems like it's such a painful mug to hold. This guy has seen some things, am I right? Oh, look at this. Long live the orange bird. Here for forever. I don't know if this is an official Disney Parks item. Nope, right there. Disney theme park merchandise. All hail the dark mouse lord. This is one of the strangest mall setups. There's multiple entrances to stores, which I think are just the back entrances to the actual stores, but people have turned them into like regular entrances anybody can use. As you can tell with Bay at Furniture, they might be going out of business, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if they are open. Does not appear so. I guess they have gone out of business now. Okay, so they are going out of business. I tell you, dead malls are so 2015. We gotta find some better dead architecture to gawk at. This mall is such an unusual and strange mall. I feel like it's been on the cusp of being dead for many years, but now all of a sudden it looked pretty full in there. A lot of things happening. It's a lot of businesses, weird businesses, but businesses nonetheless. There used to be this apparently very good uh, all you can eat seafood buffet, but it looks as though it is uh, closed. Now, I've heard multiple things about this place. One friend said it was delicious, another friend said it gave them food poisoning. So, it looks like we'll never know the truth because the place is uh, closed. It's no longer open. They're probably turning it into like a, another furniture store because this mall does have like 60 of them here. This is, this is a big, massive construction update. You know, Chick-fil-A has opened. What's, what's this going to be? And it's a big building. This could be like a really big Chick-fil-A. We just don't know. We have no clue what this could be. What's going to be our new, our new dead series, huh? Their new, our new architecture, uh, uh, looking at and poking into and sneaking into. What's that? What's ours going to be, huh?
so many Mountain Dews here. What? I went into 7-Eleven. A little thirsty. Need a little drink. A little of God's Sweet Nectar, aka Mountain Dew. Well, I walked away with four Mountain Dews. And then the, the cashier kind of made fun of me. She said, you got all the Mountain Dew colors. And I said, yes, I did. And I admitted that right then and there that I have a problem. So we got Baja Blast, classic. Mountain Dew, classic. Taco Bell exclusive. Sometimes you can find it in a bottle. Sometimes you can find it in a can. Okay, I'm gonna say A tier, pretty good. If I'm at Taco Bell, I'm getting a Baja Blast. Live wire, orange flavored. It's okay. You know, it's somewhere in the middle of the tier ranking. Maybe give it like a, like a solid C or B. No, we'll, we'll say C, it's fine, it's fine. Major Melon. Kind of a new guy. A lot of people rave about it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think it's okay. I'm gonna say it's probably about a, a D, a D tier for me. I know that's hard. It's a hard pill for some to swallow out there, some major melon heads. And then we have this fella, Passion, Passion Fruit Punch of the Baja Blast category. Just be, because, listen, listen, stop it, stop it. There's Mountain Dew, and then there's Mountain Dew flavors, then there's Baja Blast, and then there's Baja Blast offshoot flavors, okay? This is in the Baja Blast family. I've never seen this before. This is a new one. I have to text my friend about it. It is confirmed via my friend Tim, the Dew expert. Yes. This is a new 2023 Baja flavor. You know what? Maybe the new Dead series is like dead office spaces and other weird buildings. Look at this building. I got water on the lens. What is this place? No clue. Looks like they are now occupying this building. It's theirs. It belongs to them now. Lots of people have callings in life, whether it's to be a, a doctor, or an artist, or some type of religious thing. I believe my calling in life involves this. Tracking down as many flavors as I can get my grubby mitts on to let everyone know which do is a superior do. Now right here, the green, standard green, is my go-to do choice. If I only had one dude to choose, it'd probably be the green guy. Can't go wrong with the old original. And we're not talking the one with the real sugar. That's gonna be on the list somewhere. We're talking about standard, run-of-the-mill, just classic MTN do. I don't spell out mountain anymore. It's just MTN for short. So, MTN do. Mountain Dew. So what I'm going to try to do in these vlogs periodically is to get some Mountain Dews and drink them. I'm not going to get all the Mountain Dews and drink them all at once because I, I don't want to die. I will do, I will do <laughs> a do every once in a while and give, and give my rating on where they stand on some type of tier list, some type of fictitious means nothing tier list. Day two, the hunt continues. The rain also continues in the gloominess. Hold on, there's some bumps on this road. Huh. Does anyone need a new office chair? It's old, but it's free. Did 
just when you thought the video was over, I find two more Mountain Dews. They're both the same flavor. I don't know why I bought two of these. It, just in case like it's really good and I want to get another little taste. This is another Baja Blast offshoot. Caribbean Splash. With a blast of artificial guava flavor. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. End the vlog. Three, two, one. Thank you very much. Yeah. Have a good one. Just when you thought the vlog was over, I find another Mountain Dew. This is a berry plum natural and artificial flavored Purple Thunder. Now, I've had this one before. I actually really like it. I'm going to put this somewhere on the B tier, upper B tier for berry plum. Also, I, I bought two of them as well because I know I like these two. So you have one like, oh, I could go for another one. Don't worry. I do have it. Not sure about these guys. I have not tasted these yet. These are unranked. I will eventually drink them and rank them. I also bought a Slim Jim. I'm not keeping track of the tier list. I'm just saying the things, so I need someone to write them down. I already got too much on my plate. I'm saying things. I can't write things down as well, you know? B. Undecided. I got way too many Mountain Dews in the house now. Thanks. Do you guys understand the power that I wield right now? This is like an infinity gauntlet of Mountain Dews. And yes, I will be writing these off in my taxes. And there's more to come. And I did already, I accidentally drank the orange one, so just use your imagination. We'll just insert a PNG of the orange one here. I drank it the other day, I was, I was really thirsty. And the green one, I, I drank the green one too.